I have five clues. I'm gonna give them to you guys one at a time, and I wanna see if you can figure out the puzzle. Okay, here's your first clue. What does it say? Field trip! Okay, field trip. Hello, got it here. Uh -huh. Here's your next clue. Granny, Granny Joe! Joe. Oh, oh my gosh, Granny Joe! Wait, <laughs> what? Ready, here's your next clue. Long pants? I don't what? own any. about Team C's. We're joining a bunch of YouTubers like Mark Rober and Mr. Beast to raise $30 million by the end of the year to clean 30 million pounds of trash from the ocean. Our family loves the ocean. We've done a lot of beach cleanups in the past, and so we're super excited about this fundraiser, and we really want to help get 30 million pounds out of the ocean. Join us by going to TeamC's.org. All right, back to the vlog. See, so it should be about there. Boston. Yeah. Boston. Yeah. Boston. 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 Massachusetts. Boston. Is Sunny coming with us? No. <laughs> Sunny is getting a babysitter for the very first no. time. A really sweet family that is a homeschooling family. They have two kids that are home all day and are excited to play with them. What's the weather going to be like there? So we're going to get to feel the fall weather and see the changing leaves. The low is like 52 to 55, <laughs> and the high is like 62-ish. So I'm, I'm more than seven. I'm gonna have to buy a winter coat. door open to the outside. Janae claims it's colder than winter. How does it feel? Cold! I think it's 50 degrees. That's my When you get used to only having Please, 75 and above. Janae just asked me to put on her head jacket thing. <laughs> we taught her it's called a hood. Hey, let's go. Good morning! We made it to Boston. We flew in last night. We're staying in a beautiful Airbnb up in the fall leaves. We love it. We came to downtown Boston this morning and it's raining. It's supposed to rain all day long and it's a little cold. So we decided to whine about it for a full 30 seconds this morning, get that out of our system and go out and enjoy our day in the rain. How's it feeling? Awesome! Oh. Oh. We've got Granny Joe with us, and our first stop is the Boston Tea Party Ship and Museum. This is the sounding of like America. The kids don't have to wear their masks outside, but they want to because it's keeping their faces warm. Um, it's helping. It's helping? Partially. Are you still cold? I'm freezing. Boston Tea Party. Our friend, Mr. Obadiah Curtis, 
our house right, Mr. Samuel Fenno. Oh, thank you. And our house painter, Mr. Samuel Gore. Thank you. Nice. And thank you, my friends. Did, did women come to the meetings? They would not be a part of the meetings. Yes, yeah, so it was I all. Yes, you would be a part of the meeting. Yes, you would be a part of the meeting. Yes, but that does not mean we weren't a part of it behind the scenes. So we all get a part to play in the reenactment here today. Oh, you're working on the ships, on the boats. Yes. Joining us on this. Well, dreary and bitterly cold December evening for this important assembly. Can we yell out? Here, here! the tea over, Laura. Too heavy. Uh, too heavy. Work with Caleb. Work together. Throw the tea. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. found a bakery that has some gluten-free options that are really good. Those are grilled cheese. We are going on a tour of the Freedom Trail. I'm gonna be your guide today. My name is Jeremiah, Jeremiah Poop, and we're gonna walk the Freedom Trail. And yes, that is my <laughs> real name, and yes, my school is fun. Um, I love his last name. Jeremiah Poop. Jeremiah. Our tour guide. And no other graveyard in America has more signers of the Declaration of Independence buried in it than this one. She's Mother Goose. The place where they had the meeting that resulted in the Boston Tea Party. Sam Adams put it together. Dump the tea into the sea. Well, that was atrocious. We would have lost the revolution if you died that way. Dump the tea into the sea. Elise, how'd you like the Freedom Trail? It was so interesting, and our tour guide was the best. Jeremiah Poop? Yes. With an E on the end? A lot of like ice cream, but creamier. Awesome. This is a historic building built in 1826. There's so many different food and treat places in this building, I want to eat all of it. Ooh, there's Boston cream pies. Lobster. It's not officially a meal time, but we still had to sample the New England clam chowder in bread bowls. Okay, so we've had a long day so far in Boston, and we asked the kids if they wanted to go home or do more. What do you want, Janae? Home. Janae was the only one who wants to go home. Everyone else wanted to go on to the Paul Revere house, Little Italy here, and have some cannolis. So the adventure continues. Sorry, Janae. I want to go home and watch my show. <laughs> That's why I want to go home. Yeah, Boston just isn't as exciting for a four-year-old. Do you guys see those fall leaves? They're beautiful. We go on a lot of different family adventures, and being in a city as a family is probably the most stressful of them. Parking is difficult, driving is difficult, walking on the sidewalks is difficult because you don't want anybody to get hit by a car, trying to figure out where you're going, following directions, there's lots of people everywhere. It's still worth it, and I really love it, but I definitely think we're gonna need to make moments in this trip for being out in nature and where the kids can just run and play. Here lived. Paul Revere. So we've been reading Johnny Tremaine right now and going to Paul Revere's house as part of that story. How was Paul Revere's house? Nice. Our kids asked so many questions. Such good questions. Yeah. They had some great tour guides. 
Yep. That we were able to. I'm glad that they're curious and they're asking. Even Janae asked a question. She said, how old is that bed? It was a 200 year old bed. Good question. So with reading Johnny Tremaine, does this shed some light on a silversmith shop? Yeah. I want to see it. We're so lucky to have Granny Jo with us. Can't even enjoy it with us. She loves American history. It's true. All right, we're trying out Mike's pastry. We've heard only great things about it, and oh my goodness, it's packed. It's very popular, I think. I think so, my land. We got pistachio, chocolate chip, and Florentine, and a chocolate eclair. Let's try this. How is it, Isaac? It's really good. So we got some baby wipes in the backpack, which is vital for after eating a bunch of pastries. No worries, where the rest of your days, no problem free, philosophy, akuna matata. We keep finding ourselves referencing National Treasure. We gotta go home and watch it. Janae wanted to get in this little door. Too big for me. There's a sunny door. There's the door for Sunny. Oh, it's so cute. I think it's fun just to be down in a city, to be walking on these narrow streets with the cobblestone and the brick. This is it. We decided to come to a nice Italian restaurant. We don't often take the kids to nice sit-down restaurants. We'll see how this goes. They're pretty tired, especially this one. Licking the butter. This is giant and glad we chose to share. Yeah. So I did the chicken parmesan with these homemade noodles. This is homemade pasta. Well, I'm thinking we should have had the cannolis after dinner. <laughs> We're all pretty full. Okay. We had a lot of leftovers. It was amazing Italian food. We found a dog. How old is you? It just turned one. Really? Oh, we have a we puppy, have a puppy younger than her. He's at home right now. Good night. Get your house out. Trick or treat. Say hello. Hi. I'm a legit scared. <laughs> I'm coming to get you. Ha, 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 ha.